what's up everybody today we are talking future proofing and because of that i brought in my good friend aaron catlin of blue watermelon inc this guy is a genius all things design audio video especially dante which is something that we're talking a lot about today from a future proofing aspect he designs and builds awesome recording studios uh churches performance centers uh and much of those builds incorporate a future proofing plan and so uh, i wanted to bring you in today especially since you're also uh very knowledgeable for rme products and we are taking a fanboy yes <laughs> i'm a, definitely a fanboy fanboy <laughs> is probably the better term there but uh today we are taking a look at this 12 mic d which is the new dante 12 mic preamp uh, io expander from uh, rme mm -hmm. and aaron had to come check it out with me I knew that he would be able to even further your knowledge when it comes to this kind of stuff. And so we're going to talk about that future proofing idea uh, and the idea of Dante as the main, um, the main plan for a lot of future proofing because it is so nice to be able to put 12 mic pre's over in that room and have a single little cable come in here and connect to your computer and record those mic pre's instead of having your big snake, you know? And that's what we did today. You were in the control room. You were the one behind the, uh, the computer board, you the know? The man behind the curtain. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so uh, explain a little bit about how you see future proofing in Dante. Okay, so the basics of Dante is that it's a TCP IP based networking audio protocol. It allows us to run audio over data networks, the same kind of data network you have in an office building or anything like that. And the really cool thing about it is, instead of having these old giant snakes full of copper cable that we had in the old days, with this guy, we are able to, or with anything Dante enabled basically, we're able to transport hundreds of audio channels over a single category cable, the same cable that transports ethernet mm -hmm. around a building. And as a result, since networking technology is not going anywhere anytime soon, and since we can even transport it on fiber, it makes it pretty future resistant. I won't say future proof, but it makes it pretty future resistant <laughs> because we can transport all this data and all this information pretty much anywhere we want in a building that has network drops. And so I could literally take this as an example. If I was in, let's say I was in a church and I wanted to record in a classroom that happened to have a network drop. Yeah. If I had access to that network and I knew how it was running a little bit, I could actually track this all the way back to another room, mm -hmm. no problem at all. Yeah. And that's really cool. And that's that was the, the idea, I mean, on a much smaller scale than a church or a, you know, a large performance center. But here, we ran category cable throughout my house. So I could hook up these preamps in my master bedroom if I wanted to yep. and play drums up there recorded right down here to this computer. I could hook up this in my green room or I could put the computer in the green room and I could put the preamps in here. That's the, like, that's the beauty of the Dante network and being able to you know, like you said, future resistant, not yep. necessarily future proof is, is a crazy word because, right. you know, who knows what's going to happen 30 <laughs> years from now. But one thing that we both know is that the Dante network can send hundreds of channels via a single cable. So if you run that single cable between your rooms, you know, unless the networking world blows up, like <laughs> yeah. there, there's, there's no way that you are not going to be able to use well, that. It's also, it's also a tremendous savings on copper, yeah. which is nice. Um, I mean, we know copper has a lot of uses and it's nice to not use it up so much just mm -hmm. to run audio signals these days, especially the fact that we can run it on fiber if we want to, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Um, our mutual friend Grace in his studio, we actually were able to hook up his piano room mm -hmm. because of Dante, because he has a big grand piano in a different room of yeah. his house. And Dante was what allowed us to make that happen. Yeah, so. and it makes it easy, too. Because, <laughs> yep. I mean, the single cable it connects. And, and everything, I mean, Dante as a whole is a little bit of a uh, scarier world than traditional audio methods. You have to learn a little bit. You have, yeah. There's a few you know hoops to jump through to be able to figure out how to really run this kind of yeah. stuff. But, and Audinate does offer classes, though. Yeah. And they're online, and you can sign up for them and just take them. And that's so. how this, this RME 12 mic D works, is through the Audinate Dante controller and through, it has its own web interface that uh, as we were really pleased to figure out, is super simple here. Um, you can access it through a web browser or if you plug in via USB, you don't even have to have a network. It creates a network over that USB for this to work. But uh, I mean, you can, 
speak to how easy this is to configure. So more or less with the web interface, they've given us the remote capability to control all of the preamps, as well as to route any channel of any type that this device is able to handle. Because it's more than just 12 preamps. It's actually able to process MADI, Dante, and light pipe based audio all <clears throat> in the same unit. And it can take it in and send it back out. So we can actually use it as a format converter in some extents as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it pairs beautifully with a lot of the other RME products like the UFX Plus, or even with, we, we hooked up to my Babyface Pro earlier today, um, and just to see what it would do. Yeah. And we, it, it plugs and plays. I mean, it just works. It's, you know, if you know how the RME world works, it all just kind of plays together well and it's easy to operate. But this, this web interface is something that's new to me from RME and I am very, very pleased with it. Yeah, it's I mean, really it's cool. so simple. I mean, literally like your routing is, hey, I want to drag this channel to this place and it, it's that simple, yeah. you know? And that's uh, another big benefit to the RME brand here is, I mean, the, the clarity that you get from their preamps is you know, I would say second to none in the industry. They, they are so clean. They are so clear. They are used in labs all over the place. This is what people pick up to go yep. test things, you know? Yeah. I actually use them for PA systems optimization and for acoustic testing. I use a UFX plus for larger spaces and I use a Babyface pro FS for smaller ones. And we were using super <coughs> clear preamps from RME here and the very clear earthworks mics also used for testing. Yep. Uh, on that six sounding kit you got. Yeah. In there on too. that beautiful, I mean, I would say the Pearl Masters Maple Gum. It's my favorite drum shell. Uh, I think it's one of the best recording drum sets in the world. And so today we had to break that kit out to showcase how great the preamps sound. And it was worth the effort. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and it's it was another uh, it was another look into how well the design that we did for the studio worked. Because you know I got the call. Hey, you want to check out this interface? And like if I hadn't have run category cable between the rooms it wouldn't have been so easy to just plug this in, plug in the mics, plug in the cable, plug it in in here and record, you know, like that, that wouldn't have been an option. We would have had to go into the snake and then we would have had to come in here and, and, and like having that ability to have your preamps in the room with you, if you want to be able to easily access them or on well, the remote control interface here, yeah. that's, that's stellar because as long as, as long as you're on the same network as this, if you're running it via Dante, you can plug into it and do that. And, and it's, it's stellar. Yeah. So I could, I could, adjust the preamps and you could adjust Correct. the preamps via the remote and that's like i mean that just makes it so simple to where it doesn't matter and any device on the network so like my laptop your laptop mm -hmm. this computer all of us could access this yeah you just and, have to know the ip address that it's living at yeah and it's it accepts dhcp addresses and it kind of lives at its own as well mm. um if you don't have a dhcp server it just assigns a link local um if you don't know what that means take the audinate classes and you will <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's Aaron is, uh, you know, he's good at explaining things, but sometimes he, uh, he starts talking and I'm like, I'm going to have to go learn about that one. Uh, so I'm a geek. <laughs> your, your, uh, your final thoughts on the 12 mic D here. Uh, I think having... this is a superbly well-built product. It's clarity, it's clock. It has the, um, I forget what they call it, but it's the same, the new st steady clock that mm -hmm. RME uses in all their newer products and it is just about the most stable clock you'll ever find and it can be used as the master clock in a Dante system which is beautiful but more than that the remote capabilities for the preamps and everything you can use this in a live application as expansion preamps to any board that has Dante you can use this in your studio and because of Dante virtual sound card you can use it as an interface even mm -hmm. though it's essentially designed to be an IO expander or signal converter yeah and it just it sounds amazing we took the time to sweep it on a signal uh, analyzer and it pretty much gave me an identical signal to what my UFX plus does. Yeah. So we were very pleased. And you mentioned uh, <laughs> it has MADI uh, for connecting yes. the interfaces together. It has as both well optical as and coaxial yeah. MADI and it has ADAT, which is nice. So we tried it on my uh, Babyface Pro FS with MADI mm. and um, it can, or not MADI with uh, ADAT and yeah. we can plug it into my UFX plus with um, Matty or either coaxial or uh, fiber optic. So. And that's where you could have six of these in a room at a church or at a performance center with all those preamps and be able to interconnect them via Matty or interconnect them via ADAT, connect them to your system and network via Dante. I mean, that is the power of these more future proof, future resistant 
methods of audio. You know, analog is no longer the way to go if you want to make sure that you're safe for years to come. Yeah, the whole theory behind modern advancements in audio and video technology even is we get it on the network, we get it converted from analog to digital, then we can do whatever we want with it. Mm. And that this device is literally the epitome of what we're trying to do with all of that. It's an endpoint that allows us to do that in an extremely clear, extremely clean, extremely stable uh, device that sounds fantastic. Mm. It just sounds amazing. Well, uh, you know, ending on that note, how about we listen to some of the drums that we tracked today? And uh, I think that is an excellent idea. Everybody gets to see how this 12 mic D in the live room connected into here to the computer via a single cable sounds incredible. So let's go. Mm -hmm. 